OK, let's head over to the Beko kitchen now. And Mark, you've got a very easy to make and tasty dinner or breakfast option. Yeah, exactly. We're making omelettes. And you say it's easy, mm. but this is probably one of the hardest things to get right, an omelette. Really? You know, so, so this, is, this is what I put all my chefs through, you know, make an omelette. I have heard that. Yeah. That's what the test is. Can you do it a is. good omelette? Exactly. Okay. So I'm going to be putting you to the uh, <laughs> test a bit later on in the show. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm liking the ingredients we've got there. It's great to have you with us. We are in the Beko kitchen and Mark you're making a relatively simple dish today but it's one I don't make often because I don't do a very good job of an omelette it usually just turns out like scrambled eggs with a few vegetables <laughs> so yeah, oh, show me how to make the perfect one from a Monday morning right we're gonna we're gonna leave that to part two okay. and, I, and I'm gonna walk you through it and we'll both make yes. one at the same time oh great right. But we're going to, uh, instead of just serving a boring omelette, mm. so just an omelette, we're going to stuff it. So we've got these beautiful ingredients here. We've got some salmon, so we're going to roast the salmon off. And then we're going to make a nice miso mayo. We've got a bit of creme fraiche in there, some cheese, and uh, some sesame seeds and coriander. It's going to be great. So a little Yum. Asian twist on the, on the normal sort of classic uh, omelette. What's QP mayo? Uh, that's the Japanese mayo. Oh, yeah. It's, have you tried that before? Yeah, I think I have, yes. So good. Yeah. It changed your life. Okay, yeah, good. You won't, you won't go back to the other mayo. Brilliant. Okay, so we're going to cook what first? Okay, right, we're going to cook the salmon first. So a little bit of salt and pepper. Yeah. Got a, a nice pan there. Um, and then we're just going to we're just gonna cook it. So you can go skin side down. You can take the skin off if you want. We'll just um, roast the skin and then roast it um, so we get a nice colour on all sides of the uh, salmon. Let it rest, then it will okay. be nice and pink because it's nice and thin. If it was a little bit thicker, we'd probably have to put it in the oven. Okay. Um, and then we're going to take the skin off as well. So, you know, doesn't doesn't really matter about the skin. Or okay, you, you know, enough. serve it on the side if you I'm want. I'm not really a skin fan on the salmon. Some I mean, people are, but I'm oh, not. I, I, I love yeah. it. If it's crispy, it's got to be crispy. Oh, right, okay. And then it's really nice. Oh, okay. But then it's practice for when you do eat skin on the salmon next time for another recipe. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll leave the salmon cooking right, away. Right, so then. salmon's cooking. Yes. Right, so we, uh, we've got some mayo. So we've got this cupia mayo. So it's, it's got a little bit more acidity in mm -hmm. um, and, and a touch sweeter than just sort of normal mayo. You're right, you stick your finger in there, you mm -hmm. like that. But it's great. It's, it's so good. And in like Japanese restaurants, they just serve like really fresh, crunchy, raw cabbage with a big dollop of mayonnaise on top. But you know, it sounds awful, but it's, like, it's one of the best well, things you've be ever delicious, tasted. Actually. Right, so a little bit of miso, miso paste in there. So it's really good, really fruity, really salty. Yes, yeah. Uh, works really well. And it's gonna give us a nice sort of creamy aspect to the um, salmon. Okay. Right, so you keep an eye on that. I remember what happened last time you, I left you in charge of salmon. <laughs> <laughs> Have a look at it. <laughs> Have a look. There's a, there's a flipper for you. Okay, cool. So, so once you've got a nice color on the skin, Flip it around on the sides, and we want to get a nice sort of a nice brown caramelised colour all sides on the base as well. And then we'll just give it a prod and um, make sure it's nice and cooked. And you still want to serve it pink as well. Okay, good. Okay, a little bit of soy as well, so to season the mayo. Just a little bit, just do it to taste. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need a lot. You're only going to put a little bit, of, a little bit of this on, you know, because it is quite salty. But it's, but this is where the flavour and the sort of, you know, the the, the boom of uh, explosions of flavour is going to happen. Well, no, I'm like you. I like your speak. <laughs> boom of flavour explosions. Uh, yeah, yeah, boom of flavour <laughs> explosions. <laughs> so a little bit of, uh, a little bit of lime juice in there as well, and then you know, just taste it. You know, it's really good. It's sort of salty, sweet, sharp. It's going to be beautiful with the salmon. Okay. All right. How are we Stay getting on with that salmon? I can't get that one to stay. So yeah, no, that's it? good. So, so keep cooking the salmon. Okay. And we and we still want it nice and pink. So after resting it, still wants to be pink oh. in the centre. That's oh, going to be a little bit hot. <laughs> I probably should have given you a pair of tongs, shouldn't I? But where's the fun in that? Okay. I'm gonna, uh, and then we're just going to crumble it into the omelette as well. Nice. So, a key tip for an omelette: yes, get a really good non-stick pan, and it's all about heat control. Okay. And we're going to show you that a little bit later. Yeah, it is really important to get a good pan too, isn't it? You know, because you can't do it in a rubbish bag. That's right. Otherwise, it fails. Maybe that is my problem. Okay, we look forward to getting the rest of this very soon. This beautiful salmon omelette that I'm not going to mark up right now, though. We need to get cooking. We're going to make an omelette, Mark, and that's a very big handle for a very small pan you've got there. <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to work because that's what we want—a good pan, isn't it? Yeah, we need a good pan, so I've stolen these from work. Borrowed, oh, yeah, borrowed oh, if, nice. uh, if the boss is watching. Thank you, O'Connell Street Bistro. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're going to get a, get an egg, so you can crack an egg into there. Okay, are we in the pan? No, into the, into oh, the bowl. Oh, okay, we're, we're making one each. We're, right. we're, doing it, we're doing it real time. So the start of the week. A <laughs> little bit of salt and pepper. Give it a good whisk up. Make sure it's all whisk, you know, because you don't want any bits of white in there, all shell in there. I got the shell out because you taught me that technique yeah. last year. 
Oh, okay. was it was using the other shell? Using the other shell. Okay, cool. What's right, there you that? go. So, a bit of salt and pepper. So, it's all yep. about seasoning. So, get your seasoning in through the egg as you go. Okay. Right, and then it's, so it's all about air temperature now. So, you can have the big pan. I'll have the small pan. Okay. In fact, you, you, you've got a bigger pan, so you've, you've two eggs. Oh, good. <laughs> Just make it harder for It'll you. Be a good omelette. <laughs> right, omelette, you need butter. So, nice, nice bit of butter in there. You can have some as well. Thank you. And You're so helpful today. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> I'm not going to help you flip it. <laughs> <laughs> right, so you want to get your butter melting. Yep. So get a little bit more heat on there. So control your heat. So if you put the butter in and then it burns, yes. then obviously it's too hot. Okay. okay. So you want it ni nice and bubbly like that. Yeah, but so stitch, stitch me up, have you? No, no, no. Okay, good. Right, so now what you want to do, mm -hmm. in fact, I'll do this one, you can do this one, so you can watch. Okay. Here you go. Okay. Right, so now once it's once it's bubbling, get your eggs in there. Okay, so you've got the heat in the pan so that, because the egg's really thin, you can see it's sort of starting to set. Yes. So what you want to do is just sort of keep bringing it in and, you, and we want to cook it about halfway into this pan. Okay. okay. So you're just controlling the heat on there because we don't want any colour on these eggs. Okay. Okay, cool. So I teach all my chefs this. And we've got, uh, we do a white bait omelette, so that's always on the menu. Oh, I've had the white bait omelette. And, and pe people love it, but this, you know, it's one of the things what they, I think that's where they come to Connor Street, just okay. to learn how to do that. And we had a crayfish one on it at summer as well. Okay, cool. So, tip it in. Yeah, that's it. So you just want to control that heat, and you can see it's sort of starting to cook there. So I'm setting the base of this omelette now, and you can see it's nearly cooked on top. Okay, you know, so if, you look, if you look at that, there's just a little bit under. But that's great. Yeah, that's it. Is Keep it going doing that. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Right, and then we've got our salmon. So get it to that stage now. Get a little bit more heat. But then you need to make it into a, a nice a round look. shape. Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. Before it all sits. Yeah, 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 that's it. And then once you get to that stage, you can get your salmon. Flake your... <laughs> oh, oh, hang on. <laughs> Omelette. <laughs> We're making scrambled egg, Mike. No, look, I'm fixing it. It's all good. It's going to be perfect. Right, so you can flake your... Um, Flaky salmon, beautiful, that's it. Hide it with the salmon. Yeah, thank you. Go. you. And yeah. then you put a little bit of this mace, miso uh, mayonnaise on there, and that's great, you know. You just So it's just going to warm, but it's going to give us this beautiful sort of salty richness as well. Ooh, yes. Onto the salmon. Smelling fantastic. Get in there. Look at that. Right, so just take it off the heat now, because you don't want to get it too hot. I think yours is better than mine. We'll put take a little off, bit of spring onion in there. And for Jesse, you know, we'll, we'll flake Put a bit of coriander in there. <laughs> He's loves that. He doesn't like salmon either, apparently. Doesn't he? He's so fussy these Gee, days. isn't he fussy? And then, you know... For a barista. <laughs> and and to put some cheese, and then a little bit of cheese in there. This poor barista's put up with people's fussy coffee orders all day. Oh, I know, you know, I know. There you go, carry on. Oh, what are we doing? Coriander um, cheese. Yeah, a bit of coriander cheese. And then what you can do, just pop this under the grill or in a really hot oven just to melt that cheese just slightly, you know, okay. literally for about 30 seconds. And then, so once you've done that. Thank you. And then what you do oh. is you just sort of, you know, that's why you need a non-stick pan. And then you just sort of fold it up and over and make this beautiful oh. omelette. Look at yours. Okay, well, this might be difficult to fold. <laughs> it shouldn't be. There you go, look at that. So tilt the tilt, pan. Tuck that under. Yeah, tip that under. <laughs> tilt that under. That's beautiful. Like Maybe you could serve it as an open omelette as well. There's, there's an option. Yeah, there you go. There you go. And you roll it up. Take the ends off. Oh. Look at that, beautiful. And I swear, like, if, if the guys were watching this from the restaurant, they'd be like, oh, there's too much colour on that. Ugh. Oh, oh. well, wow. that's as good as it gets. It's much better than the scrambled eggs I usually make at home. Yours is fantastic. Okay, there's a challenge for you at home. Take a photo and send it to us of your fancy omelette, and you can actually get the recipe at our website, thecafe.co.nz. And I'm loving this Ooh. as well. Which one's mine and which one's Mark? You can't tell, can you? <laughs> Yours is still open. <laughs> Sorry. Well, it smells delicious. Can't wait to tuck into it. Well done. Thanks for that.